Now, with the invention of social media, it could be a good thing and a bad thing. It could be a bad thing in a way to is where bullying is at its all-time high. You're seeing students actually commit suicide behind bullying, especially online. There's once upon a time you told a joke, it stayed right there in the classroom. Now, everybody in the world sees it, laughs at you, and you're the laughing stock of the school. I'm going to bring you guys to a story out of California. I thought that this was... Um, when I seen that picture of her on the news, I thought that was the daughter. That's the mother. Her name is Christian Tinsley. This is the Gale Hills Middle School. She walked into her daughter's second period class. Now, she didn't check in the front desk. She didn't announce that she was coming. However, she did go through the proper channels. She went through the proper channels, um, reported it to the school. Problem is that they investigated this for only one day and they concluded their investigation. This is why the mother went off. This is Donna Washington. So the, the, the video is of her. I can't show the full video, however, she walks into the class and told the class, leave my daughter alone. I put hands on you. Anybody 18 or up, if you want to send your mothers, if you want to send your sisters, your aunts, send them up here. I will handle them. But y'all will do one thing and leave my daughter alone. This came after she dropped her daughter off to school and her daughter started crying and saying, leave me in the car. I don't want to go to school. That's a problem. That's a problem. I think that these schools could do a lot more with bullying and that they don't. One thing, we got email, we got cell phones, it's 2019. Y'all need to get everybody on the phone involved. Bring them up to the school and have a meeting with everybody's parents. If you got to do it every day of the week, then you got to do it every day of the week. But if that kid is accused of bullying, they need to sit in a detention, um, expelled, suspended, but it should be zero tolerance. It's, I've seen and I've done shows on children as young as 10 years old that commit suicide behind bullying. This is a very serious case. Parents do not allow your child to be on social media without you having their password. I feel this. I feel that the schools should be able to monitor the social media as well and that that in particular, um, it should be some type of boundary. But parents, make sure you monitor, monitor fake accounts, new accounts. Any accounts that could be your child's, it should be monitored. And if it is not monitored, stuff like that um, should be a criminal case. And the parents should be held liable as well. Um, this was a very diverse school. This wasn't some type of thugged out uh, school where it was very bad. It wasn't that at all. Some inner city bad school. This was a very fairly diverse upper class School and this can happen. A lot of people think that you send your child to an upper class um, community school that you get, you know, just that. I mean, you get that education, but you still run into problems, so to speak. Um, so this wasn't one of those really bad, had a bad, super bad reputations. The schools. Um, and I feel for this mother. A lot of people now, I'm one of the first people to say handle it professionally. Uh, but in this case, after she exhausted all of her resources, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. I tell people, please handle it professionally. However, in the video, she did not go off and was cussing, fussing. She said, look, I'm going to tell y'all simple. Leave my kid alone. Send your mothers up here. And you can see the instructor, somebody still had cell phones out. You're not even supposed to have your cell phone out in the classroom and somebody had their cell phone out. I blame Matt. This is why male teachers, something in our schools, and this is a perfect time to talk about this situation. Less than 2% of high school or teachers in general are black male uh, instructors. Why is this important? Black male instructors can relate to black male students. A lot of times in these inner city schools, what do you see? You see 
um, instructors can, that cannot relate to these students. You see instructors that don't care for these students. You see instructors that just there to pick up their paycheck and go home. Can care less if their student fails. Can care less if their student get expelled. If we had more male teachers, they could pull some of the young brothers. Hey, young brother, look at here. I see you over there gang banging. Stay away from them cats over there. Stay over here. Don't be out there gang banging. I know what you're going through and I know where it leads. It ain't good. Sit down somewhere. And they would listen. They would listen. That's one of the biggest things in our school systems is that we don't have the male counterparts to help these young ch brothers to tell them, look here, man, don't bully that person. Don't sexually assault or harass that person. What you're doing is harassment. I've seen it. Um, I feel that once upon a time I was a bully in uh, elementary school. What a lot of these kids need is somebody there to talk to them and let them know, look here, that's wrong what you're doing. So, I think that especially once it's reported, emails need to be sent out from everybody in that class. That instructor needs to step in. The principal needs to step in. And more importantly, everybody needs a conference, parent-teacher conference, to come into a conference room and air out what's going on. We've seen that Facebook post you posted. If it's about somebody in school, that should be grounds of suspension. Second, third time, expulsion. Zero tolerance when it comes to bullying. Um, there's a friend of mine. She had an app. She created an app that was able to send anonymous messages to the uh, principal. It was a bullying app to where she was able to send, a, um, you send a, I don't know the name of that app, but to where it's, you can send an anonymous message to the instructor saying, or the instructor or the principal and saying, hey, I'm being bullied by blah, blah, blah. Can you talk to them? And it's anonymous. Uh, and the instructor, and they can know what's going on because once you know that two people are having fight um, problems, you can prevent a big fight. Our schools are damn near gladiator schools. A lot of them. You disrupt their education, and a lot of them are not even wanting to go to school. This is a very important topic to me. This is something we have to um, combat and come together and talk to your children. It starts with us in your home. Start with your own student, your own child. Talk to them and let them know that bullying is bad. This is not one of those issues where um, it's just like a single parent. It can be a two parent. A lot of times... The parents don't know that their child is a bully. A lot of these kids come home squeaky clean, hee hee ha ha, and they don't tell what they're doing to other students. But this school, how do you conclude it within one day? That's why the instructor and now she's banned from this school. And she didn't care, nor should she have. She said, hell no, I'm going up there. She knew she was going to be banned from that school. But the school did not do enough in my book to combat what happened. If they concluded it within one day, absolutely. They didn't talk to all the parties involved. They didn't talk to the parents. They just said, ah, okay. Look at the students. So, um, we need more male instructors in these schools. That's just point blank. Um, it's too many female to me and, and, and that don't care, that can't relate. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good instructors. There's one thing, there's one model that I stick by. Um, starts in the home. Make sure you talk to your child. Make sure you talk to your children about bullying, the importance of why you should not bully. Especially if you let them have a social media account. If you're not monitoring it, then you're just as guilty as they are. If you let them jump on there and say any damn thing, I watch a lot of these kids, man. A lot of people are taking their kids out of public schools and private schools. They're doing homeschooling because this is what comes with these uh, public schools. This is what comes with it. And this child even told her mother she wasn't strong. She was really contemplating something horrible. And a lot of people, man, and, and where does 
where does these people who shoot up the school, why is it so important? Who shoots up the school? The person bullying or being bullied? The person being bullied. Let's talk about Columbine. What happened? Let's talk about Virginia Tech. That young Asian kid, he was being bullied, so to speak. He just felt left out. But the um, Columbine Massacre, they felt left out, talked about bullying. Un, just like a mental illness that was undiagnosed, this is something, the same issue. There's a lot of young male students that would snap and come to school and with it they want revenge on everyone that bullied them. We've seen this time and time again. Um, Stone Marjorie School down in Florida, you've seen it. Um, and it's a tragedy that is so common where it doesn't even really make the news anymore. But it happens almost every other week. There's a new school shooting and part of the problem is bullying. Social media, imagine a fight and imagine let's say you get beat up and the entire world gets to watch it. Back then you couldn't even handle it for people in your school to know or in your class to know, let alone the entire world to know. So, make sure you take care of your home, your school, your town. This is my motto here. How long are you going to cry and blame your old professor? Before you get up off your knees and do what you got to Anyway, I'm going to have some technical difficulties with that. But however, what he said was before you get up off your knees and do it your damn self. Anyway, I want you guys to like, comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.